Taiwan's cold chain logistics are coming under strain as domestic demand for fresh food deliveries rises. Citing insufficient capacity, shipping companies TCAT and HCT Logistics have suspended all pickups for perishables for several days this week in northern Taiwan. Another shipping firm, Pelican, has paused all same-day cold chain deliveries until June 14th. Since Taiwan went up to a level 3 COVID alert, the demand for home delivery has exploded. We're here now at the cargo area of a logistics company where we can see logistics workers hurrying to load goods. Trucks are crisscrossing the country, struggling to keep up with orders. In particular, orders have surged for goods that require cold storage. We order food products like vegetables and rice, things like that. We get both fresh and frozen foods. Deliveries used to come every two to three days, but now we're waiting about a week. Some customers have encountered mishaps as cold storage gets strained to capacity. Cartons of perishables have been left out at room temperature. Some deliveries have arrived wet in such a sorry state that it seems for sure that the food has spoiled. In the period since the level 3 COVID alert began, this period of nearly three weeks, total industry revenue has been comparable to that from the Lunar New Year holiday. It's been better even. Logistics companies have been a little caught off guard. They haven't had the time to arrange for the massive cold storage capacity that's needed to meet demand. Faced with booming demand for cold storage, logistics firms don't have the equipment to cope. Instead, they've been calling up clients and suspending pickups. The shipping firm TCAT suspended cold storage pickups in Greater Taipei, Taoyuan and Xinju from June 1st to 3rd. Pelican has also dialed back its cold storage service, canceling all pickups on June 1st and all same-day deliveries until June 14th. HCT Logistics pulled the plug for Greater Taipei, Jilong, Taoyuan and Xinju for the period from June 1st to 4th. It's a blow to small farmers who rely on deliveries. We absorb all the losses ourselves, but we have a bigger problem to solve now, and that is, what do we do now when we need to ship out goods? Right now, there are no logistics companies who can do it. I don't know who to go to. COVID has whipped online retail to a peak, but the frenzy is proving too much for the logistics chain. To avoid customer complaints, shippers are choosing to suspend cold chain service, sending a ripple of effects up the distribution chain.